Greetings, welcome to Volcano Tips. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace the switch on your Volcano Vaporizer. First, we will need a Torx T8 security screwdriver. This is a specialty screwdriver that you can get on Amazon. Very unlikely your local hardware store will have it. So with my Torx T8, I'm going to go around the cone and I'm going to remove the screws that are holding the cover on. There are three screws total, and once they are all removed, you can gently lift up the cone and push it towards the temperature control knob, and it'll come off and allow you to access the inside of the volcano. There's a wire that connects the cone to the unit itself, so you want to put this right next to it. Now that I've got the volcano open, I can access the back of the switches. So in this case, I'm going to replace the green switch today. Take a flathead screwdriver. From the back, I'm going to push down on the plastic. So one by one, you will remove the individual leads from the back of the switch. You want to make sure that you keep them in order from top to bottom so when you put the new switch on, it matches. On the back of the switch, each terminal is numbered 1, 2, and 3. Number 1 goes at the top. So here I have my new switch, and here I have my old switch. I'm going to remove the rubber grommet that comes with the original Volcano and I'm going to put that on my new switch so it fits nicely. Now with the grommet in place I'm ready to install the switch. So I'll look at the back. I see that number one is here. I'll make that the top, and I will insert it into the volcano. As I insert the switch into the volcano, I will align the terminals so that they're in the right place. So now I'll snap it into place, and now from the back, I can push each terminal onto the blade in the proper position. So there you can see all three leads have been pushed into position and are firmly seated in place. Now as you can see the volcano is quite dirty inside. Lots of pollen has fallen in there over the years and accumulated on its inner workings. So while I have it open I'm going to vacuum it and clean it thoroughly. So now with the volcano thoroughly vacuumed, I'm going to reinstall the cone. I'm going to flip it up, bring it to the front, line up the temperature knob, and gently push it into position. You don't want to force it. And slowly bring it down, snap right into place. And now I can reinstall the screws with the Torx. T8 security screwdriver, one at a time. And now my Volcano is ready to return to service with new functioning switches.